Sainam children. So today we are back with our English lecture. Today in English we are going to start with our English grammar. Children, we have already completed with our chapter one nouns. Today we are going to start with our chapter two, that is numbers and genders. But children, we will do only a part of our chapter two. So today we will do part one numbers. Now what are numbers? Numbers include singular and plural. Singular and plural. When we talk about one person, one animal, one place or one thing, then the noun is said to be a singular noun. I repeat. About one person, one animal, one place or one thing, then the noun is said to be a singular noun. But, for example, one car, one girl, one flower, one pen, one boy, one pencil, right? So, when you are talking about one, we call it a singular noun. But, when we talk about many things, many people, many animals or many places, then that becomes a plural. So, when we talk about more than one person, animal, place or thing, then the noun is said to be a plural noun. We normally form the plural of a noun by adding S to its singular form. Right? So, we saw in singular one car, one girl, one flower. In plural, what happens? We add S to it. So, it becomes two cars, many girls, Six flowers, yeah, many pens, many boys. So, when we are talking of plural, we add S to the singular noun and it becomes plural. So, when I'm talking about one, it is a singular noun, and when I'm talking about more than one, when I'm talking about many, it becomes a Now, let us look here at some example. Book. Book is a singular noun. In plural, it becomes books. Chair becomes chairs. Doll becomes dolls. Let us see some more example. Girl becomes girls. Book, books. Cow, cows. Bag, Bags, monkey, monkeys, king, kings, crow, crows, paper, papers, house, houses, vegetable, vegetables, bottle, bottles, page, pages. So, what did we see here? All the singular noun. Just by adding S to these nouns, it has become plural, right? To form a plural noun, we have just added a yes to the singular noun. Now children, there are many other ways of forming plural noun. Let us see that. If a singular noun ends in S, S is CH, SH or X. Then its plural form is formed by adding ES, right? Again, if a noun ends in S, SS, CH, SH or X, then we form the plural by adding ES to the singular noun. For example, bus. So what's the last letter here? S. So we will add ES instead of S. So bus plus ES becomes Buses, which is the plural form of bus. The same way, glass. Glass plus ES becomes glasses. Match. The last letter, the two letters are C and H. So, we will add ES to form the plural form. So, match plus ES becomes matches. Brush plus ES becomes brushes. And box plus ES becomes boxes. So, when we are forming a plural form of nouns, 
which end in s s s c h s h or x then we add es to the singular noun to form the plural now supposing a singular noun ends in f or f e then its plural form is formed by changing f or f e to v and adding es supposing a word ends in f or f e then how do we form the plural form we will remove the f or f e and we will put v instead of that and then we will add es so let us look at some examples t h i e f thief t h i e f thief so what's the last letter here f so now what i'm going to do to make a plural form i'll remove f from that i will add v instead of f i'm going to write v and then i will add es so now my plural form of thief becomes t h i e v e s thieves t h i e v e s thieves right next l e a f leaf yes so what's the last letter f now what am i supposed to do i will remove i'll take out the f i'll put l at e s so l e a f leaf becomes l e a plus v plus e s that is l e a v e s leaves right what did i do i removed the f i have put a v there and i added e s to it now w i f e wife what are the last two letters here f and e so what i'm going to do i have to remove f e and i will add v there and then e s so w i f e is wife i am removing f and e out of it i will add v and then i will add e s so w i v e s becomes wives k n i f e knife so what should i do here again i'll remove f e and replace it by v and add e s so k n i f e is knife the plural form is k n i v e s knives k n i v e s knives so if my noun is ending in f or f e then to make a plural form of that i am going to remove f or f e and put v over there and then i'm going to add e s to it to make the clear children yes now let's see some more examples what if a singular noun ends in y then its plural form is formed by changing y to i and then adding e s right when it was ending in f i used to add b there now it's ending in y so what i'm going to do i will remove y i'll put i instead of y and then i am going to add es to it so baby what's the last letter here y i will remove the y out of baby so and i will put i instead of y so it becomes b a b plus i plus es so what's the plural form of baby babies what did i do i removed the y i put a i over there and then i added es so b a b i e s is babies b a b i e s is babies now next example l a d y lady now what should i do yes i will remove the y i'll put a i in the place of y and i will add es so l a d i e s ladies l a d i e s ladies c i t y city now what should i do c i t y city so i will remove the y here so it becomes c i t plus i plus e s cities c i t plus i plus e s so it is 
C I T I E S cities. C I T I E S cities. Next one, story. S T O R Y story. Now what's the last letter here? Y. So what should I do? I'll remove the Y and I'll put the I instead of Y and I will add E S. So S T O R I E S stories. S T O R I E S stories. S T O R I E S stories. Yes, but children, not all the words ending in Y. I will be adding I and adding ears. Some singular nouns ending in Y have a vowel before them. If there is a vowel before Y, then its plural form is formed just by adding S to it. Right? If there is a vowel before the Y, then we are going to add only S. In the previous examples, let's see them. B, B, Y. So, before Y, there is B. Is it a vowel? No. L, A, D, Y. Before Y, there is D. Is it a vowel? No. C, I, T, Y. Before Y, we have T. Is it a vowel? No. S, T, O, R, Y. Before Y, we are having R. Is it a vowel? No. All these are consonants. So, we are changing. We are removing Y. Adding I over there. But here, if we have a vowel before Y, then we don't have to add I, E, S. We will be just adding S to the noun. Let's see some example. D, A, Y, day. So the last letter is Y and there is a vowel before that A. So what should I do? I will just add S to it. So my plural form will be days. D-A-Y-S, days. Right? See the next example. K-E-Y. Again, E is a vowel and the last letter is Y. So, what should I do? I will add only S to it. So, my plural form becomes K-E-Y-S, keys. K-E-Y-S, keys. Next, T-O-Y, toy. T-O-Y, toy. So, O is a vowel here and Y is the last letter. So, what should I add? I will just add yes to it. So, it becomes T-O-Y-S, toys. T-O-Y-S, toys. <coughs> yes. Now, what if the singular noun ends in O? If a singular noun ends in O, then its plural form is formed by adding E-S. Yeah? So, if a singular noun ends in O, then its plural form is formed by adding ES. Potato. P-O-T-A-T-O. -T -T potato. Just add ES to it. So, the plural form becomes potatoes. <coughs> tomato. T-O-M-A-T-O. -T -O, tomato. So, add ES to it and the plural form becomes tomatoes. H-E-R-O, hero. So, the plural form becomes H-E-R-O-E-S, heroes. M-O-S-Q-U-I-T-O, mosquito. And the plural form is M-O-S-Q-U-I-T-O-E-S. So, if a noun is ending in O, then we will just add E-S to it to make the plural form of that. But not all the nouns ending in O are formed plural forms by adding ES. Not all the nouns ending in O form the plural forms by adding ES. For some, some examples are zoo. Zoos. You're just adding S to it. Piano. Pianos. Photo. Photos. So these certain nouns, in, we don't add ES, we are adding only S over here. So you have to remember this. Yes, that not all the nouns ending in O are formed by adding ES. Some nouns form their plurals by changing 
of the vowel inside them. For example, F O O T foot. F O O T foot. So when we are talking about one, we say one foot. There is double O there. So the plural form is just the O is changing into E. We are changing the O to E to write the plural form. So F O O T foot becomes F E E T feet. F E E T feet. Next M O U S E mouse. M O U S E mouse. The plural form becomes M I C E mice. M I C E mice. M A N man becomes M E N men. E N men. These are some nouns that don't follow any rules. So you have to remember these some nouns that how they change into their plural form. Some nouns have, have the same form in singular and plural. They don't change in plural form. For example, deer remains deer. Sheep remains sheep. Some nouns are always singular like news, scenery, furniture. Right? There is no plural form for that. They are always singular. News, scenery, furniture, etc. Now children, I want you to write the plural forms of these words. I hope you have your book with you. So write down this and then we shall discuss the answer. So take out your book, your pencil, write down these words and write the plural forms of these words. The first one is lady. L-A-D-Y, lady. Second is house. H O U S E house. H O U S E house. Third is knife. K N I F E. K N I F E knife. Fourth is child. C H I L D child. C H I L D child. Army. A R M Y army. A R M Y Army W I F E Wife W I F E Wife T R E E Tree T R E E Tree T O O T H Tooth T O O T H Tooth C A L F Calf C A L F Calf H E R O Hero H E R O Hero So write down the plural forms of these. Keep in mind the rules that we have seen and form the plural forms. Done? So shall we discuss the answer? Yes. The first one, L-A-D-Y, lady. The last letter is Y. So what should I do? I will remove the Y and put I over there and then add E-S. So lady becomes ladies. So the plural form of lady is L-A-D-I-E-S, ladies. L-A-D-I-E-S, ladies. Next one, H-O-U-S-E, house. So I only add S to it and it becomes houses. H-O-U-S-E-S, houses. K-N-I-F-E, knife. Now what should I do here? The last two letters are F-E. So I will remove F-E. I will put V over there and add E-S. So the plural form of knife is K-N-I-V-E-S, knives. K N I V E S knives. Next, C H I L D child. C H I L D child. So the plural form of child is C H I L D R E N children. C 
C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N, children. Yes, so children, remember, singular is child and plural is children. There is no S over here. So when we are writing, we will never write S with children, right? Children is the plural form of child. Army, armies. So the last letter is Y. I'll remove it, add I over there and ES. So A-R-M-I-E-S, Army. A-R-M-I-E-S, Armies. Wife, W-I-F-E, Wife. Last two letters are F-E. So remove F-E, add V over there and add E-S. So W-I-V-E-S, Wives. W-I-V-E-S, Wives. T-R-E-E, Tree. So what you should do? Just add S to it. T-R-E-E-S, Trees. T-O-O-T-H, Tooth. T-O-O-T-H, Tooth. So what do I do here? The O has been replaced by E. So the plural form becomes T E E T H teeth. T E E T H teeth. C A L F calf. C A L F calf. So the last letter is F. Remove the F. Put V in its place and add E S. So C A L V E S calves. C A L V E S calves. H E R O hero. H E R O hero. Last letter is O. Remove the O and add E S. So H E R O E S heroes. H E R O E S heroes. Yes, children, understood how we are using the rules that we learned to form the plural of the singular nouns. Now some more examples. Here the plural forms are given and you have to write the singular forms for them. Right? The plural forms are given and you have to write the singular forms of these nouns. So children copy this down and write down the nouns and then we shall discuss the answer. The first one is N-U-R-S-E-S, nurses, B-A-B-I-E-S, babies, D-O-N-K-E-Y-S, donkeys, P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S, potatoes, P-O-N-I-E-S, ponies, G-A-M-E-S, games, R-I-N-G-S, rings, B R O T H E R S brothers, S T O R I E S stories, F R I E N D S friends. Right, children? Write it down, and then you're going to write the singular form of these plural nouns. Written. Shall we see the answers? Yes. So the first one was N U R S E S nurses. So what's the singular form? N U R S E nurse. That's the singular form of that. B A B I E S babies. Singular form of babies is B A B Y. D O N K E Y S donkeys. So it is D O N K E Y donkey. P O T A T O E S potatoes is P O T A T O potato. P O N I E S ponies. P O N Y pony. G A M E S games. G A M E game. R I N G S rings. R I N G ring. B R O T H E R S brothers. 
singular form is B R O T H E R brother. S T O R I E S stories. S T O R Y story. F R I E N D is friends. F R I E N D friend. Yes, children, clear till here. Yes. Now, children, we are going to change the following sentences to plural and rewrite. Right? Now, in this sentence, we are going to see the nouns and we are going to change the nouns into plural form and rewrite the sentences. A boy is sitting on a bench. A boy is sitting on a bench. So, what are the nouns over here? Boy and bench. Right? The two nouns are boy and bench. So, in the plural form, boy will become boys. I will add S and it will become boys. And bench will become benches. The last two letters of bench is CH. So, I have to add ES. So, bench will become benches. So, boy becomes boy and bench becomes benches. Now, I'm going to rewrite the sentence. So, should I write A now? No, because I'm writing the plural form. So, boys are sitting on the benches. I should not write a uh before boys, right? A uh is used only when I'm talking about one. So, in plural, there will not be a. Uh. So, I have removed the a uh and I have written boys. Is will become R. When I'm talking about one, I have used is. But when I'm talking about many, I'm supposed to write R. So, boys are sitting on the benches. Again, a bench becomes the benches. Right? So, how did I change the sentence? Did you all notice? I have changed the singular noun into plural noun. Along with them, the formation of the sentence also changes. The verb changes. And there is no a written before the nouns. So, boys are sitting on the benches. Okay? Let's see one more. A mother loves her child. A mother loves her child. Now, which are the nouns here? Mother and child. Mother and child. So, mother. A mother will become mothers. Yes? I will remove the a. It will be only mothers. Loves her child. What is the plural of child? Children. Child is children. So, mothers love her children. Mothers love her children. Yes, children? Understood? Now, let us change the following sentence to singular and rewrite. Right? Now, the plural form of the sentence is given. We are going to change into singular and rewrite the sentence. The oxen are grazing in the field. The oxen are grazing in the field. So, the oxen over here is a noun which is a plural noun. I am going to change it to singular noun. So, oxen becomes ox. And I have to write a or an before it. So, I will be writing an ox. Why? Because o is a vowel here. So, an ox is grazing in the field. Right? Even the oxen are grazing in the field. Here, the singular form of that will become an ox is grazing in the field. Yes? The next one. Dogs are good friends of men. Dogs are good friends of men. So, dogs are the plural form. What is the singular form of dogs? A dog. And men, what is the singular form of men? Man. And friends. So, what is the singular form of friends? Friend. So, there are three nouns in this sentence, children. Dogs, friends, men. Dogs will become 
a dog friends will become friend and men will become man so what will the sentence be now when i'm writing about a one thing then r will also is so a dog is a good friend of a man right everywhere now children these are some sentences for you you have to change the following sentence to plural and rewrite yes children copy these questions in your book in your notebook and you are going to change these sentences into the plural form and rewrite the sentences yes start writing the first one is the donkey carried the load the donkey carried the load second is a thief stole a watch a thief stole a watch third is a fly can spread diseases a fly can spread diseases yes children copy it down now write down the sentences in plural form change the nouns into plural and rewrite the sentence shall we see the answers donkeys carried the loads donkeys carried the loads here the nouns are donkey and load so donkey i'm adding s and load also i'm adding s so donkeys carried the loads next one a thief stole a watch a thief stole a watch now what is the plural a thief becomes thieves and a watch will become watches thieves stole the watches thieves stole the watches third one a fly can spread diseases a fly can spread diseases a fly becomes flies a fly becomes flies so flies can spread diseases flies can spread diseases dan children have you all written down this now let's go to the next you are going to change the following sentence to, to singular and rewrite you are going to change the following sentences to singular and rewrite the sentence the first one is the babies are playing the babies are playing second is i have pain in my teeth i have pain in my teeth third is my sisters have my photos my sisters have my photos yes children so now you are going to change them into singular and rewrite the sentences copy the sentences now start writing change into singular and rewrite the sentence dan children shall we see the answers the babies is the noun here so the babies will become a baby in singular form so a baby is playing a baby is playing i'm talking about one i'll be writing i s is and not a r e r so the babies are playing becomes a baby is playing next one i have pain in my teeth i have pain in my teeth so what's the singular form of teeth tooth i have pain in my tooth i have pain in my tooth next one my sisters 
have my photos. My sisters have my photos. Here, sisters and photos both are nouns. So, we'll have to form the singular of both these nouns. So, sisters will become sister. Photos will become photo. So, the sentence will be my sister has my photo. My sister has my photo. Yes, children. Understood all of you all? Yes, go through this again. Keep in mind all the rules we have learned till now. There are some nouns which don't follow the rules. Yes, so you have to keep those nouns in mind. And rest, you have to keep the rules in mind that how the plural form is written. Right? Go through that, revise again and practice. Bye. Sairam.